So this is an odd one. <laughs> so I got a code for this, and I, and I looked into it, and then I was like, kind of taken aback by how just odd the premise is. The best I can think of to call this thing is it's just like it's like a cross between like Danganronpa and Valkyria Chronicles, in that it is a turn-based 3D like third-person JRPG like Valkyria Chronicles. But it has a mechanic where someone in within your group of characters is the bad guy periodically and has to be removed from the party. And it has a little bit of Dr. Decker in there, and that the people it's instead of being predetermined story beats, the traitors are actually different in each game. Which means that uh, if you beat this game and your friend beats this game and other people beat this game, everyone will beat this game with different rosters of characters because of the different people that get eliminated. I'm like, this is, uh, interesting. And it's developed by Landcars, which I've never played a game from, but they're the people that made Etrian Odyssey, which I also haven't played, but people keep recommending over and over again. So I'm like, okay, this is a lot of reasons for my in interest to be piqued. Let's play this game where 11 psychics are gonna save the world. What? Sure, let's do this. The world now faces total destruction. How could a single person do all this? The attacks are simultaneous? Reported casualties at two billion and climbing. There's an incoming transmission from that man. I am the agent of the apocalypse. My name is the end. This destruction is but a prelude. More will come. True destruction is about to begin. Thirteen days from now, everything in this world will come to an end. If you want to continue your worthless lives, try and stop me. Try and kill me. I'll be waiting. Thirteen days from now? It's over, isn't it? The world's coming to an end! We need to deploy the troops at once. We have to stop that madman at any cost. Assemble each nation's finest and infiltrate that tower. This is our final hour. It may be time to send in the gifted. Maybe with their powers, they can do the impossible. The world's fate is in their hands. <sighs> Where is this? My head. What? This is... Right. I remember now. I came here to fight. That intro was so gloriously cheesy with the politicians and everything. <laughs> There's three, four, five others in similar uniforms. I doubt we'll confuse them with the enemy. So immediately we're dealing with, uh, looks like characters where- the usual thing where it's like teenage looking characters that are gifted and wear school uniforms to save the world. Alright, commencing attack. I should close in on the enemy so they're in range of my gun. Let's learn how the hell combat works in this game. Moving! The moon range is displayed in the circle as a circle centered on the unit being controlled. Use left stick to move around within the range shown. When the unit moves from their starting point, the range movement will gradually contract uh, con uh, contract behind the unit. Press the B button to redo the movement from the starting. Oh, cool! You can t yes. 
This is what I was missing so much in Valkyria Chronicles, is just the ability to retry. Because doing, in a turn-based game, having real tr real time movement that you can't undo when you mess up is a bummer. So, oh, by the way, background. Uh, this game, I believe, is on PS3 and PS Vita, but it just came out a month ago on PC on Steam. So that's why it's suddenly on my radar. But you can get on those things, too. And, it's pro and so expect a game that looks like a PS Vita game. <laughs> Attack. If the enemy blinks blue with, when your unit is moving, the enemy is within attack range. Press the A button to open the menu and select attack to strike. Accuracy and damage vary based on range. Counterattack. If counter appears on the enemy, they will counter after your attack unless you are outside the enemy range or use certain special attacks. Let's go. Alright, so I have infinite retries essentially, right? So I can run around a bit, try this out. That's interesting. So that's the overall zone I can run around in. If I reach the end of it, it stops. But I can retreat back to where I started? Oh, that's weird. What a weird system where, like, you can run back to where you started at that point. Huh. Flanking maneuver, maybe? Let's try attack. Is he even in range? I really should have planned that better. Make sure he's blinking blue and all that. Wow, I have a very close range gun. Apparently. <laughs> oh yeah, that's my maximum attack range. 85% chance to hit. Counter. Alright. Take this! San and Daze? Oh, sanity, probably. Maybe. Maybe. Oh yeah, because they do psychic attacks. They're they're all psychics. San indicates uh, sanity, or a character's mental resilience. Sanity will deplete when hit by an attack. This applies to both allies and enemies. Am I- is it a psychic gun? <laughs> Daze. An enemy will become dazed when their sanity reaches zero. Daze will render enemies unable to act, and their stats will be greatly reduced for one turn. This is your chance to deal extreme damage, so be sure to seize the opportunity. Daze will naturally recover after one turn. All right. My memories are still a bit hazy, but my body is moving just fine. Hmm. Oh, did we wake you? Guys, keep your guard up. You won't go down that easy. Maybe with my fire, I can finish it off. Gifts. Those, those gotta be the special skills. Uh, using gifts, each unit uses... Uh, each unit of your team has their own individual special abilities or gifts. Using gifts requires GP and San. Turn you to ash. Actually, probably not an attack range, am I? Burn. I don't think I am. So you have incredibly localized attack range, don't you? No, he's not. He's not glowing now. Ah, uh, made the difference though. I'm, I'm taking up the top bar is their sanity meter, and then their bottom bar is their actual what? health. Gee, just created fire out of nowhere. <laughs> Do you remember? We have these gifts we use to fight against terrorists. They sent us here in a task force to handle the situation. Then again, we were sent in different teams, so I don't know who's from which one. I don't recognize anyone's faces. So we all have a gift like yours. Ugh, there's something in my head. It's like I can see some image. Using a gift can be draining on our bodies, so try try and keep aware of that. Hey, more importantly, you look, look like, you look like you're hurt from their counterattack. Hold still, and I'll come and help you. We have a medic character, or they're just using an item, I guess. Using items, your inventory of consumable items is shared among all units. Oh, okay. And anyone can use them. A character can use an item if there is a target for the item's effect in range. Are you ready? Huh. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. I owe you one. <laughs> no problem. Just doing my duty to uphold justice. 
You don't need healing after every single little scratch you get. Sorry, I wish I could have been more useful. Damn, you're hopeless. Sit tight and I'll give you some of my gift. Maybe that'll move things along. You can give me your gift? Eh. Yeah, now wait there. This poor guy is like fighting us and we're all like having a casual conversation about how, about how the mechanics of the game work. Using defer. By using defer on a unit that has already acted for their turn, you can grant them the ability to act again. All units can use this ability once per turn. Unit initiating to defer spends sanity to use it. Defer can be used even after moving, so use it uh, well to gain an advantage in combat. I'll tear them apart. So I can use a movement action, but then I can then afterwards use defer, to then give somebody else my action essentially. Interesting. Okay, so this this is a better reference point. Uh, green meter is, is hit points, blue meter is GP, and sanity is the pink meter. Here, leave it to me. Damn. Huh? What the? My body is. There's power rushing into me. <laughs> I gave you a portion of my gift. We can all do it. It's called deferring. It'll tax your mind, but using it once or twice shouldn't be a problem. Don't forget to try it out. Oh, these are 3D models, aren't they? I saw him move there. Let's go. Oh yeah, they totally are. Oh, I see. I can keep moving with the power you just gave me. Alright. That blue one's going down for sure. So I get wow. So you can get a lot of movement done in one turn, then, if you move, then defer to another character, which lets them move again. Which means... You don't get an extra action, but you do get an extra movement. Like a net gain for your team. And it's a de it's a decent balance compared to Valkyria Chronicles, which just allowed you to pick one character over and over again for the entire turn, and you could just use them the whole game, which was a mess. Assist! That takes care of that. Thank goodness. I appreciate the help. <laughs> You're welcome. The target's in range. I'll assist in an I'll assist an ally's attack. Unless that's someone I don't like. Oh. You're just gonna just gonna explicitly say that, huh? That if you don't like somebody enough, you might not save them? Uh is that really a mechanic? Sounds good to me. Best buddy who I love more than anything, right? I guess I should try to attack when my allies are nearby. You seem to be getting the swing of things. Why don't we finish this, uh, these buggers off? Assists. When, when selecting a target to attack, an assist attack will occur if there is an ally nearby the fray with assists displayed, displayed above them. Ass assist attacks may not occur if the unit... If they don't trust each other. Okay, that's important. To, so yeah, there is a trust mechanic, which is probably a problem in a game that has traitors. Uh, enemy units also use assist attacks, so be wary of enemy groups. Well then. So assist does not show up as an actual item in here. There's an enemy over there, there's a few of them here and there. Is that their, like, assist? Oh, that's their proximity to my character. Right. Okay. Well, I can't get into attack range from there. Let's try these guys. Sweep S. Ooh. I'm learning things about what we can do here. I can probably get a, a cone just right with that. Not quite. This might take a little practice. They're not glowing, so I don't trust it. Oh, there we go. That's a better example. Yeah! 90% hit on both. What do I have for gifts? You have impact, a melee, a melee attack. Range 2. 
versus your attack, which has a range of what? Only that? He's wearing a backpack. <laughs> she sure seems like a hardened warrior. Let's try impact. That's, it's half down. Oh. The enemy turn has its own song. I thought the music was cutting out. Oop. That's a dangerous counterattack. Ow. Oh, the music just stopped. That feels odd. Let's do this. There we go. I'll turn you to Are you ready? Ah! Let's begin. And I can freely change who I'm controlling, so I can change what order Let's everyone's begin. actions happen in. Okay. I'll tear Are you ready? We have a melee weapon. I'll let's try apart. let's try a ranged character. Ah, you do have to do the movement and action in one thing. I was gonna see if I could move one character, then run up with a different character, and like, Let's begin. group them all up one by Let's one. Do this. Let's try you. I bet that I can get an assist out of you. Yeah, there's an assist meter. Good. Wasn't necessary, though. Let's go. Are you ready? Don't get in my way! I can't get into attack range. Copy allies stats and be linked. Share recovery effects and both can assist despite friend status. Interesting. Are you not into fur range or no? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's a cool idea. So it an additional feature they give you, you can highlight the fur, for example, and then run around while the fur is open so that you can make sure somebody's in range and stuff like that. Seems like I can't do it, though? Let's see. Oh, right, it has to be used on somebody who's already acted is the issue. Basically, just that guy has to do something first. Let's begin. Gotta, gotta keep that in mind. Whoops. There's some control nuances to figure out, but they're, they're handy. Not good. So I so I can select the attack first and then move to make sure that to make sure I'm getting in the in the attack range of the attack. I don't have to I don't have to always awkwardly walk up to people then try to see if I can get the attack to work and stuff like that. That's good. Let's see here. So I can defer to you, and then you can just shoot him, for example. That takes care of that. There we go. I want to see if he can counter or not, if he died. They don't get to fire back. Yeah. Is that all of them? I guess that was the welcoming committee. Still, I never expected the inside of the pillar would look like this. It's like it ate an entire city. I can hardly believe it. Well... We should assess our situation first and foremost. I'm worried about the group that went on inside while we were fighting. You serious? Wait, you serious? I didn't see anyone. Then... I guess we should check inside. Let's make first contact before we uh, before they can get the drop on us. What's with the amnesia, by the way? Like, I... <laughs> is that a planned part? Like, you send people on a mission, and then they get amnesia at the beginning of it? Does it they, that they recover from or something? You're right. Agreed. All right, I'm opening the door. There are others? So you have five, huh? Us six, and you five. That makes 11 of us in total. That's great. We can play soccer with that many people. That's supposed to be a joke? We're all wearing similar uniforms. In other words, that means we're... If it isn't the 11 psychics... Welcome to the Pillar. That voice... I know who he is. 
so you're the end. You've come looking for me, no? I must greet you. What the? Why is he glaring at me with such hate in his eyes? It seems you at least remember who I am. Of course we do. We came here to kill you, after all. Or did you tamper with our memories, thinking we'd forget all that, too? Tampered with our memories? Are you implying he's the reason why we don't remember how we got here? That would seem a logical conclusion. Why have you done this? It doesn't matter why. He's an enemy we have to defeat. That's all we need to know. Ha! <laughs> Just what I'd expect from Sealed. You lapdogs are so entertaining to watch. What did you say? You messing with us? You needn't call us dogs. You're right beastly. <laughs> you are still not enough. The situation is more dire than you could imagine. I believe you are all forgetting one very important item. I important What do you mean? There is a time limit. I completed launch preparations, and I now have a nuclear warhead aimed at every major city in the world. And I just press the switch. What? That's a load of bull! The warheads will launch 13 days from now. That is your deadline. And the only way to stop them is for you to come and kill me. The UN seems to think you're up to the task. That's why they assembled Sealed. To come in here and stop me. Jeez, you scared me! So guns have no effect on him. None of you can lay a finger on me. I exist on a whole other plane. If you wish to kill me, you will need to climb this tower. I'll be waiting for you at the top of the pillar. So if you want to save the world, I suggest you work together and start your ascent. Oh, but wait. Did I mention there's a traitor among you? What? Are you trying to scare us? You're not very good at bluffing. All will be clear soon enough. If you want to climb higher, you will have to sacrifice one of your own. Spouting nonsense and then he disappears? Screw that guy! Do you think it's true about there being a traitor? <laughs> That's obviously a lie. How could a member of Sealed, upholder of justice, ever take the side of evil? It'd be good if that's the case. Hmm. This room's pretty spacious, huh? I wonder what it's used for. Hmm. It's quite a contrast to the urban area from earlier. It also seems as though the enemy hasn't tried forcing an entry here. Hey, what's that huge machine? Hmm, I wonder. It's probably safe to assume that the End prepared this room for us ahead of time. He knew someone would enter the tower. Damn it. What does the End want? You don't think that he... By the way, now we know the memory loss thing apparently is his doing. Yes. Well, it seems to me like he'd or he orchestrated this entire scenario. Now he's just sitting back and enjoying the show. That's why he appeared earlier. Oh. W what about the traitor? But... Look, dwelling on that isn't going to help us. Let's set up our base of operations here and use this room to prepare for battle. We can assess the situ our situation from here. After losing our memories, I'd say we're all a bit confused. The memory loss really makes it easier for the traitor to hide for now, by the way. I should talk to each of the others before we begin investigating the pillar. All right, let's tr let's learn who the other ten characters are. So I'm guessing that guy's going to be my main character the whole game, or not? Maybe he's a traitor. <laughs> That's the twist, and I, then maybe like maybe we lose him, and then I'm like, oh wow, I've I've lost sense of who I'm controlling. After battle, sealed members return to the lobby. There, you can change equipment, learn gifts, and otherwise prepare for battle.
Oh, weird. This is, okay, that's interesting. Huh. This makes a whole lot of sense now that it's on computer, so I can just do this with the mouse if I want to also. <laughs> click on you? No, you don't click on people that way. Right, this all makes sense because it was made for the Vita, so it was made for a touch screen. Alright, so there's a bunch of talking options. Gonna, gonna have to learn a lot of these names. Be easier when some of them start dying, though. Important conversations that occur after becoming closer with someone are the gold text, the gold quote bubble. The blue speech bubble is normal conversations. Oh, but they make you closer. And then normal normal conversations are the white bubble. The white is nonsensical, not, not, not nonsensical, but it's just, you know, all over the place. But blue is get makes you closer to somebody, and then the really important ones are the gold ones. Talking to characters. You can speak with characters, uh, members of Sealed, by selecting talk. Anyone that has something to talk about will have a speech bubble next to them. The two people that you talk to first will have their trust levels increased. As you raise the trust levels, special conversations will be unlocked, so remember to stop and talk when you can. Okay, so I, I have to pick two characters that I want to like that I want to like me more, basically. And then I lose that access for now. And I'm doing this entirely based on their cosmetic design, essentially, because I don't know any of these people. Uh, two of them talked to me basically so far. Toya Orbert, Mana Kawaii, or Kawaii? Yeah, I think that is basically Kawaii. Himeno Akatsuki. This is where we, we get a nice review of how bad I am at pronouncing Japanese names. Nagi Shishiouka. Sojiro Sagara. Zenji Maeda. Marco Barbato. Yoko Tachibana. That's a name I know. Tachibana Real Estate. Ajito Yuki. And George Jackman. <laughs> I'm the American man of America. Do you know how American I am? <laughs> Even from his voice, you're like, look, it's the American character. Can you tell how American he is? Alright, well, I'm gonna give you preference because you had the forethought to try to shoot him right on the spot. So I was like, oh yeah, look, he tried she tried to shoot him. Proactive person, Nagishi. It's the hardest name to pronounce in the entire list. What am I why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> Nagi Shishioka. I had been serving in the army before joining Sealed. My ability is levitation. I can float in the air for a short period of time. That is all. Any other questions? It's fine. I have a general idea of your personality. Really? Do we? We didn't, we didn't get into her personality at all unless her personality is being matter of fact, I guess. Yes. I see. I'm glad that you seem reliable. We're best buddies now until she's the traitor immediately and removed from the party. You never know. Alright. I have, like, almost no other basis. <laughs> it's like the only character that did something so far, so I'm like, I don't even- Who's she? I didn't even notice her. I noticed her. She was all broody and crap. Honestly, they probably all got a line of dialogue and I just lost track of all of them because they probably all got exactly one line of dialogue. Let's meet Mr. American. <laughs> Konnichiwa, Yoroshiku Show. Uh, yes. I am George Jackman, the psychometrist of justice. Huh. Do you know what psychometry is, Show? With it, I can see the residual thoughts that dwell within objects. For instance, I can read the leftover thoughts of this master katana, and... Shawing! <laughs> slice down evil like so. That is my mission, for justice! Okay. Immediately he's like, I'm going to try to say Japanese! Alright. Sure. Just go down the list, I suppose. Might as well start at the top at this point, since it won't matter anymore. What? Himeno Akatsuki. My ability? You just witnessed it, right? It's pyrokinesis. 
All this ability does is burn objects. I, it doesn't create anything new. <laughs> to think that this power would be useful in such a place. If it's close combat, I should be able to give off a considerable amount of thermal energy. I'll turn you into ash any day. Alright. We have somebody who can read the memory of objects. We have somebody who can f levitate. We have somebody who can create fire. Toya Orbert. <laughs> oh, my gift? I have control over magnetic forces. I can lightly draw anything made of iron towards me. On the other hand, I can flick them off as well. I am able to control electromagnetism. Well. Electromagnetism, not magnetism. Bleh. <laughs> It's a little exhausting, but I can even manipulate the electricity in the atmosphere and create thunder. It'd be chaos if word got around of my abilities, so I kept quiet until I got involved with the terrorist attacks. Mana Kawaii. Ah, <sighs> um, mana, right? Something wrong? It's just that, unlike everyone else's abilities, mine is so uncharming. That thing from earlier? Mm -hmm. That's right, this overdrive. Don't you think it's tragic that a lovely bird like me has such a burly ability? You agree, right? Right, because she's supposed to be British, so she says things like bugger and bird. <laughs> and her name's Monica White. What? Why? Okay, she, so she, is she just not... She speaks like that, but she must be Japanese, a Japanese immigrant to the UK or something, and I don't know. We'll probably learn over time. Well, whatever. Since this is my case, since this is the case, I'll, I'll figure I'll fight up front during battle. Truth be told, I hate it, though. So, Jiro Sagara. Oh my, you seem rather shaken up. You need to calm down a bit. Being hasty isn't the solution here. Huh? Do I seem shaken up? Well... Well, as it stands, I'm a doctor. I'd love to calm you down, but in our current situation, I don't have my, medic my medication with me. Perhaps I can rely on my healing gift to do the trick, though. Right, because he's the healing specialty character. Which is weird that somebody else did the healing in the uh, actual encounter we did, but I guess that was... they were just showing us the inventory as opposed to healing powers. Zenji Maeda. <laughs> huh. Can I trust you, you bastard? I'm Zenji. <laughs> just immediately, you bastard? What? My ability lets me synchronize with others. It's hard to describe, but I can connect with someone else's mind. <laughs> It lets me read their thoughts and copy their abilities. Like Rogue from X-Men. I mean, um, I'm an original character. OC, do not steal. I can't use it to find out who the traitor is, but let but let me spe uh, just spell it out for you. You don't want to get on my bad side. Marco Barbado. Huh? What is it? You want to get to know me? Are you just curious what I can do? I was added to this group because I have psychokinesis. Oh. But I'm not at all suited to fight in a place like this. D do you still need something from me? So we're just learning their skills and nothing else about their personalities that would appear. Yoko Tachibana. Yes. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Uh, right? It seems you weren't s sure there, but yes, it's nice to meet you too. <laughs> yep, I'm relieved that you're just a, that you're a normal person. Relieved? Earlier you were being glared at a lot by the end, so I thought you were someone scary, like a politician or a soldier. I myself don't have a clue what all that was about. Anyway, I'm surprised that you're such a normal girl. At the very least, you don't seem like the type to be in the special forces, based on your appearance or tone. Is it your gift? Yes. Uh-huh. I can use telepathy. Although, I don't tr I don't like to use it much. You don't want to use it? Well, who cares about all that stuff? I'll use it during battle. I do need to support everyone. 
We don't want our lives to end here anyway. Let's see, can I pause the game? Nope. I was gonna see if I could, uh, increase the text speed, because it's actually starting to get in the way a little bit. It's, I have it set to, like, medium or whatever. Ajito Yuki. Hey! Yo, so that the end guy was really staring you down. You two know each other? What's the scoop? What's his deal? No. I have no clue, actually. And you're a member of Sealed, too, right? Hey! You betcha! Agi Ajito Yuji, Yuki, at your service. They recruited me because of my teleportation. Teleportation, huh? Yep, it's my gift, they call it. Not sure when I got it or how, but one day I just noticed I was able to do it. Comes in handy, in battle too, of course. Well, it's nice meeting ya. When he said he'd launch those missiles in 13 days, I wonder if he was lying. This is a man who's destroyed half the planet. Let's not discount his threat so quick. In fact, it's probably safest we assume he's telling the truth about this. What worries me more is what he said about a traitor. Do you really think there's one among us? <laughs> you say that as if you couldn't possibly be the traitor. Are you trying to claim that you're not the traitor then? That was not my intent. This is a circular discussion. Obviously, the traitor would not reveal his or her identity. The rational course is simple. Trust no one. So, there's an enemy among us? <sighs> what a pain in the ass. Whoever's the traitor, come clean. Please stop it. How can we suspect our own teammates? I don't like this at all. So what if you don't like it? Are you fine with the traitor doing as they please and killing us all? That's not what I... I, I just... Enough. There's no need to phrase it that way. In any case, we have no way of determining that there's a traitor with certainty. That's true. It could be a ruse he's using just to get under our skin. He's done a good job of getting to us so far. Regardless, we aren't making any progress by discussing this. Right. All we can do is move forward. So the best countermeasure for now is to keep an eye on one another, huh? Even though we're teammates? I'm against the whole notion. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care if you're all a bunch of traitors. I'm killing the end and saving the world. It'd be real funny if you were the traitor after saying all that. What the hell did you say? Can we stop this useless prattle? You're starting to give me a headache. Show's right. All we can do now is move forward. Does it matter if there's a traitor in our ranks? We're just a hastily made team anyway. I'd hardly consider any of you an ally. We're simply a gathering of people with similar goals. Nothing more. Isn't that a little bleak? Everyone's going suspicious of each other, but I suppose Let's that can't be out. helped. We have a purpose to fulfill. We have to keep going. That's right. We have to accomplish this regardless if there's a traitor. That auto proceed does not discriminate between wh whether the uh, the people in question have uh, uh, dialogue that's voiced or not. So I've got to be careful with that. <laughs> 